What I would like to see happen is maybe more of an emphasis on missions and our involvement as a church body. That we should be lifting up those of us from our church um, regularly, not at our missions conferences, but regularly, uh, weekly, that we are more mindful of those that are in the body that, have, that are not currently sitting in our pews, that we are uh, being more mindful to support them, both prayerfully and financially. I wonder how many of us, in a very spiritual way, walk into our own environments, our own communities, walk into them and ask God, will you bring down the walls? Will you bring down the walls that exist uh, on my block? Have you ever walked into your... How can you make an impact in your community if you never walk, if you're never there, if nobody knows you? You are so insulated from it that that nobody could experience. Can I invite you? Can I invite you maybe this week to take a walk around your community and and walk and just as you come to a home, pray for the person that's there. Pray for the person in the home. And, and, and then walk walk the next house and just pray for the person. And, and, and as you walk through your community, just pray for the people that are there. Because I want the Lord to show up. I want to fight in a spiritual manner. And you know what this story teaches me? God's doing things God's way. i got to get in line with what He's up to. And so I'm going to step out into my community. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for it. I'm going to connect with it. I'm going to engage it. That He wants to take over for the sake of the gospel. He says that he will bring down those walls. And you will walk up the very opposition that you so much fear. And it's all you can see. It just seems overwhelming. That person will never come to the Lord. That person will never.